How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tip. As you can tell, this isn't coming out on a Friday, so this is not a typical Minimator tutorial. Someone asked me not that long ago if there was a way to move things around in Minimator more organically instead of having to use the basic little parameters. So let's uh, take a look at that by spawning in an item. So uh, normally when you move an item, you have these things and you just kind of have to rigidly move them around like so um, and they were wondering if there's a way to more organically move them around and my initial response was no i was like no you can't do anything that's kind of a limitation with my animator and as i went to make that response i was like wait a minute what if there was a really weird and dumb and unintuitive way to do it just to see if it was possible so i came up with this idea so uh, what you're going to do is spawn a camera, all right? And uh, stay with me here. This is going to be kind of weird. Let's go ahead and just zero out the camera's position. And we're going to take our chest here or whatever item you have. And we're going to just put it right there and parent it to our camera. So uh, what you get is this really weird contraption. And uh, let me go ahead and just move this up and... You know, depending on how you want to do it, you may want to move the chest around however you like. I'm just going to kind of center it up there. And there you go. You have a camera with a chest attached to it. So what happens is, now I don't really know if this is going to make much of an, uh, a difference with your, your projects or your animations. Um, I could see it maybe being helpful for moving things around more quickly and whatnot, but I really don't know how useful this is. I just thought it was kind of cool and I wanted to make a video and show you guys. But what you would do is like you would normally move your camera around. You right click in the camera window here, hold the right click, and then you can look around and you can move things around. And just so we can get a better look at this, I'm going to turn off my toggle controls button so that way we can just see the chest here. And as you can see, <laughs> we just have a chest flying around and without being able to uh, see there, that makes it a little bit difficult. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix that a bit. Let's just take the chest and bring it down and just have it hanging below the camera. So that way we can kind of see what the hell we're trying to do. All right. So then we take that and then we can see and you can imagine having your scene set up and you want to move the chest over here. So you just fly it over or if you want to move it over here. You can just kind of fly it over. Um, unfortunately, you know, it would be cool if Minimator could record your keyframe. So you could kind of like play the animation and then move around and it would record all the movements. And this would allow you to get really awesome. It would actually become a useful feature where you could get really cool uh, movements and uh, smoothness and whatnot. But unfortunately, that is not the case. But anyway, you got this and it's pretty cool pretty neat anyway uh, I would I wanted to take it a step further and just see exactly what application this could have so let's just go ahead and delete all that one of the ideas that I had is what if you could animate a character that way so what we're gonna have to do here is a little bit um, picky but the problem is like you can't actually make uh, a, a normal character do it but we can kind of play with this and I'll show you the example and then tell you what's up so what you have here is a normal steve character and the problem dang dang stupid uh the problem that we have here is you can't remove limbs like you can't parent this right arm to a folder or anything here um so you're kind of stuck with this so my recommendation would be is that you spawn in body parts and you have to build one from scratch i may create one and have it as a download just because uh so check the download Links in the description if there is one. If not, then I didn't do it. If I did do it, then there will be a download there for a camera rigged character, which is probably useless. But anyway, uh, so we got this character here. And what I'm going to do is just make it so this arm is invisible. So what I'm going to do is spawn in a right arm because that's what I got rid of. I'm going to create it and I'm going to parent this new right arm to the body of our character as it normally would be. Uh, before I do that though, I'm gonna spawn in a camera and I'm gonna parent the camera to the body. And then I'm gonna parent 
this arm to the camera. You don't have to do it in this order. That's just what I'm doing to show you. And then we're going to take our camera and try to maneuver it to be in the position that we want it to be in. I think it might have to be at negative eight. No, maybe negative six. Something like that. And we want to raise it up. And it looks like it's kind of, let's go ahead and fix all that. All right. Uh, let me see, negative or no positive four, maybe? All right, so basically we have his arm reset up there and uh, what you get is you can just animate his arm in a very organic and odd fashion. It's very weird and I don't know how useful this would be, but I just thought it was kind of cool. Unfortunately, you can't make his arm bend or anything, but yeah, that's what you get. That's what you can do and uh, get some kind of organic movements. Honestly, I found it to be probably better with uh, the head, for instance. So let's go ahead and uh, make the head invisible and we will do it again. Let's just duplicate this camera instead and let's get rid of the arm on it. Or actually, yeah, yeah, we'll have to do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna spawn in a character head. And for the camera here, we want to center it up and we want to bring it up to, I guess, about six. So that way it's got the same rotation and origin point that the uh, regular head would normally have. And we're going to go ahead and take this human head and parent it there. And we get this nice, awesome head with so many cameras on screen. Uh, you can imagine having a whole character rig with this. I don't know if you would necessarily do it for the, the legs, but for the arms and the head, most likely. Anyway, with this one, then I can just have Steve look around. And so, for instance, you know, this would probably be the most useful, as I said, because if you wanted Steve to look at something rather than sitting here trying to finagle and move this around and, and look at the scene to see what he's looking at and stuff, you would have it already lined up. You just look over and make sure that what you're looking at is in the camera view. And then... There you go. It's in there. And what we can do, actually, let's uh, do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. There we go. Now we don't have to look at the cameras. That's, that's another little trick. Go ahead and make them invisible. And then when you click on them, though, then it'll select it. As you can see here, selected camera. And then we can edit them without seeing them. So that way you can keep your workspace clean if for whatever reason you want to use this little tip. Uh, but as you can see there, I can just make Steve look wherever I want and that's what he does because that's he's got to do what I tell him right so uh there's that that's how you can do it and uh yeah that's pretty much it for that little tip that little trick it's kind of weird maybe kind of useless but I thought it was pretty cool and you know if you want to be able to animate and move things around in your scene maybe this would speed you up. It would obviously take a lot more time to set up a scene because you're having to parent all these cameras and stuff. But once you have that set up, maybe it would make moving things around in your scene a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. I don't know, you know, but it's pretty cool, I thought. So I decided to make a video about it. So that's it. <laughs> Hope that was interesting at the very least. If you guys find it useful somehow, then uh, I'd love to see, you know, what you do with it and... A review on uh, how this affected your animations and stuff so anyway that's it for me thanks for watching guys hope it was cool and interesting hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to hit that like button comment and subscribe to become a citizen today share it with your friends and your family and your pets and i will see you guys in the next video